Hello and welcome. I'm here to talk to you about Weave GitOps and our tenancy feature. I'm logged in here as a platform admin. So that is my user account and that is mapped to the ad admin team. If you think about a service provider use case, this is the general approach, right? You have a management interface and you want to see all the resources for all your tenants. I do have a long list of clusters here um, for different tenants. Our management UI brings with it the uh, capability to create clusters. You might have different ways of creating clusters. I did use one of these templates to create a tenant cluster. This allows me to uh, put in a number of parameters that are required to create the cluster. I can also pre-select software stacks that I want to install on these clusters to make them ready to use. That might be a cert manager or ingress solution or Prometheus, for example, or a policy agent, our policy agent in that case. I've done just that and created a dev team 33 cluster that's in a dev team one tenant. As a tenant, I'm locked in here. So I have a demo limited user. That's my tenant user. I'm locked into the same management UI that we've seen as the admin before. I do get a limited view of the clusters. That's only the clusters I have access to. That's the dev team 33 cluster in this case. If I click on that, I can see an overview of um, details. I could get access to a user cube config. And I do have a section in here that is quite helpful to make your tenants more productive um, and let them start quickly. So you could add links to documentation, for example. So in this case, there's a link to our documentation, but that could be internal documentation. It tells um, your tenant how to work with your cluster. What could be a link to your ticketing system if you need one? Um, could be a link to Prometheus Grafana, for example. We have deployed a Grafana stack here and you could get a quick overview of what's going on in these clusters from the resources. Um, this is quite flexible, as you might know. But what your tenants are mainly interested in is, of course, applications. So let's go to the application overview. You can see a list here already of pre-installed applications. This was done by the platform team. So we do have the cert manager again. We do have um, the ingress solution. We do have Prometheus. But um, what a tenant really wants to do is deploy applications. There's multiple ways to do that. And our UI helps a tenant to deploy applications. First is to select the correct cluster then we can select a source. In the GitOps context, there's a Git repository and there's Helm repositories as sources. Um, with the Git repository, you have very fine-grained control, while Helm makes it very easy um, and consistent to deploy applications. I'm going for the Helm repository here. So there's an app charts repository that has a bunch of Helm charts available to install. And now I want to install the pod info application. Select the pod info application and I select a version. I install this into Flux system and I need to customize it a little bit to give it a bit uh, more information like um, the URL it's go I'm going to use to access it. So this is one of the values. I could also change the uh, image version if I wanted to. All of this goes through Git, in my case, through GitHub. And I need to authenticate with GitHub so that uh, the management UI can write the change into GitHub and create the pull request. Once I'm authenticated, I can create the pull request. The pull request um, is just a process to write the new desired state information into Git. Let me merge that. Once that is merged, it is available for Flux to pick up. 
Flux runs on a reconciliation loop and would do this within the next 10 minutes. Let's give it a little nudge by hitting the sync button. It's just a sync now. And it now takes a few seconds and then we have pod info popping up. And what's that? There is actually something that has gone wrong. Helm install failed. Hmm. Looks like something is wrong with this chart. It requests a very high Kubernetes version number. And um, that can't work. Let's fix the issue. To fix the issue, um, we can go to um, GitHub. As I said, everything is in Git. And this is the actual file we have created through the UI. And I could just go to a version that I know is working. Commit that. And give it a notch again. Look at pod info. Maybe go to the events. And it says install has started, install has succeeded. And now the release reconciliation succeeded. If I go to the details page, I can now see the list of the object that was cre uh, that were created with this Helm chart. There's a deployment, there's a service, a replica set and a pod. And you can see actually the status as well. So everything looks good here. I could go in here and see the details if I'm interested in that. So this is the YAML view. But um, I could also go to the URL and check if my application is there. And there we are. This is the application that I have deployed. So um, what have we seen? We have actually seen that um, we have a tenancy feature. We have a platform team list. The platform team sees the entire state, can manage clusters and install clusters for your tenants. We have seen that the tenants get a limited view and can work with their clusters add applications to the clusters, see the applications and troubleshoot um, issues that they have. Thank you so much for your attention.